Um, all right, so Renee has just led us through uh, the framing and raising of these four walls. Um, so we're going to explain what we've just done. Um, the process is a little bit like opening a box where you've got two walls on the end and then two end walls. And so what we uh, have done is we started with the, this tall wall. This is our front wall and it's going to be the tallest. We started with an empty floor and so that allowed us to, to hang one end of the wall off and then frame it in and then raise it up. Um, we basically screwed in some temporary two by fours right here uh, that will hold the wall so that as we push it doesn't slide off the wall. Uh, we got all of us at this end and then raised it up and then immediately we had these braces, temporary braces, which just sit on the side and they're screwed in uh, and this uh, held it more or less vertical. What we actually did is took it a little bit beyond vertical so it's actually hanging out ever so slightly so that as we raise these end walls there's no conflict that the two walls have plenty of space to move past each other. So uh, these two walls were hanging out like this, these two walls were hanging out like this, the end walls were raised and then uh, all of it's been tacked together with nails and then all of this bracing that you see, everything running diagonal right now, is just screwed in and it's just temporary. Um, the next step, what we're going to do is bring this even more into square. So we'll be adjusting all of these walls for racking to make sure that they're plumb and totally level. Uh, and that starts first with leveling the floor so that we're sure of our floor and then we uh, plumb and level everything based on that. On that. Um, I should point out that uh, when we frame the front wall, we left uh, what's called deadwood. We put these little blocks at three places uh, from top to bottom. And this is, these are not structural. They're actually just holding the two by four out to give us the right distance so that we end up with uh, a surface on the inside to nail to. Uh, so we do that on the long wall because the end wall needs to raise up here and then the end wall fixes into to this way, like this. And see on the back wall that we incorporated two of the modules that we did, that we prefabricated early earlier, uh, and those are the same modules that we were talking about in SketchUp. So you can see that progression as it's moved along. Um, there's still uh, quite a lot of detail framing left to do. Uh, so the, the methodology here is to get the four walls up to build the box, get it level, and then you do a whole range of detail framing around the windows. We're going to be doing a corner truss bracing here in all four corners. And uh, the idea is to, to not do any of that stuff until the entire box is up. Uh, by waiting until we get the whole entire box up and square, we know that all of that framing is just reinforcing the square that we've already set.